All right, this was ringing up at 2223 on the Equinox 600. This is either a silver ring or it is the edge of a can. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dirt Life Detecting. You know, if you haven't figured out yet, I absolutely love detecting elementary school yards, especially older ones. And this week's episode, I take you to a new elementary school that I've never done before. And I find several rings as well as an old relic that I think is rather rare. Come along for the ride. Trying a new elementary school today. Here's a surface find. There you go. I don't think it's gonna be precious at all, but hey, it's a locket. Here we go. Jewelry piece number two from this little elementary school. Bringing up a 1213 on my Equinox. like a clip-on earring of some sort. There you go. I'm gonna have to check it out a little bit closer. And once in a while you get so lucky to find this on the ground and you don't even need to dig. Let's pick them up and keep going. Okay, here's here's jewelry piece number three ringing up a 1213 on my Equinox. Right on the surface underneath the weeds. There it is. Looks like a uh, Danish windmill, Elkhorn, Iowa, a pin. There you go. Yeah, I wouldn't want a kid stepping on that and having that ram through their foot. Good thing to get it out of here. And this is why you dig the 2021s on the Equinox 600 and Equinox 800 because you never know when it's gonna be a zinc penny and you never know when it's gonna be a ring. Now this isn't a precious ring, but this could have just as well been a silver ring or a gold ring at those numbers. So you just never know. But hey, we got ourselves another ring. Let's keep going. Well, this one was ringing up at 2526. I thought I was digging a copper penny but this isn't a copper penny I think this is going to be a mood ring and we find plenty of these at these elementary schools yep that's what it's looking like a mood ring all right let's keep going bringing up a 2526 on the equinox 600 Never get tired of digging these. A scout neckerchief slide. All right, let's go find silver or gold. All right, this one was ringing up a 2021. I might as well have been digging a zinc penny right here beside the basketball court. Let's see if it's just a junker or whether it's any good. You never know at this number. Come on, get out of the weeds. Let me help out a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, could be silver. Let's get it cleaned up a little bit and look. I'm gonna say, just by the looks of it and the fact that I don't see anything in it, that it is just a junker. But hey, a ring is a ring is a ring and this means you're on the right track. So let's keep going. All right, this was ringing up at 2223 on the Equinox 600. This is either a silver ring or it is the edge of a can. Uh-oh, guess what? I think we have silver on our hands. 
Nice. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. All right, let me look for the marking. All right, so that is a black stone in there because it does have a place where it's set in there. Well, yeah, maybe not. Let me see here. All right, I guaranteed you silver on ring number three. This is ring number four. Guarantee fulfilled, right? There is your 925 marking. There you go. Gotta love it. All right, ringing up a loud 2425 on the Equinox 600. Here is Scout Neckerchief slide number two coming out of this elementary school today. All right, not surprising. Let's keep on going. Surface find here. Nothing special, but golden color. Just do it. Nike basketball pendant. There you go. Ringing up a 14 on the Equinox. A cool little elephant charm. Well, it's not old, old, but I'm guessing it's more than 50 years old. A cool four hole, somewhat vintage button. Well, I'm not the least bit surprised to find this way back in the very corner wooded area of this elementary school. It was a bang in 33, 34, and I was hoping, but realizing it was too large, hoping that it was like a silver dollar or a silver half dollar. But no, a relic from a bygone era. Cowboys and Indians, anyone? Something I used to play all the time in elementary school. All right, this was a bang in 19, 20, 21. I knew it was not a zinc penny. Based on the depth and the loudness, it was doubled over, but this is like the about the fourth one of these I've ever found, and this is one of the better ones. Three for a dollar, liquid latex, disease preventers. I'll leave it up to you to figure out what it's all about. Let's keep going. Well, I was sure hoping to find more older stuff at this particular elementary school, but it's just not there. Here is a wheat penny. I cannot tell the date here in the field. I'll have to get it home and get it cleaned up. But you'd think there'd be some old silver coins here. I haven't found any. So, But I'm going to finish this uh, elementary school off and see where we're at. Well, I'm doing an area that uh, is a little bit older. There was an old farmhouse on this property that's long gone. Here's my first find, a camel lighter. That looks to be at least decently old. And here's my second find. I don't know whether you can see what that says, but it says, look anniversary 25 right there is a better look at it it's uh, an aluminum little anniversary token for look magazine would be my guess look magazine started in 1937 right here in des moines iowa so this would have been a an aluminum token from 1962 for the 25th anniversary of that magazine there you go very nice relics Thanks for watching this week's episode of Dirt Life Detecting. If you haven't done so yet, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Oh, by the way, don't forget, the Dirt Life. Gotta love it.